All right, Shalom, we praise the Yehovah, Hashem Roshar, Hashem Rukah Kadash, the one is the Apostles, that great millstone. This is a right quick one. And um, what I was going to say, I was going to pretty much, uh, you know, you got this, it's live, it's um, going on there, the news, and, you know, from what, you, what, from what I can see, is that they're talking about Brexit. You know, the right outside of the palaces of parliament. And I mean, I was just looking at these dudes that, you know, these 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 people are messed up in the spirit. They, they, a lot of them are on drugs. They're, they're coked up. You know, they're messed up in the spirit. They're paranoid. They, you know, people don't know what they're doing. They, 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 everything's in turmoil. They don't know what's going to happen. Um, and, you know, we go by the scriptures. The scriptures, if you read the scriptures, man, you know that we're in the time of the uh, judgment of Esau, Edom's kingdom. You know, the NATO, the EU, is is, is Rome. Uh, well, America's Rome. Um, and uh, But NATO and the EU, you know, they're in the same spirit as that, man. They're in, is that, you know, this, this the beast in the revelations is NATO, the EU. Now, the scripture talks about the ten tolls, some were, the, you know, the iron mixed with miry clay. So you got strong nations and you know, and then you got the debt based nations that are in more debt. And, um, you know, it's funny because, you know, this Brig Britain and the Brexit, you know, is, 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 is like just, just rampant in the news, you know. So, we, you know, I keep up with it, check it out because it's, um, it's, it's life changing. Um, things but when you read the scriptures the scriptures tells you told you that would happen and now the scriptures one of my favorite scriptures is a kingdom divided against itself should not stand See, they're still talking about brexit it's all that's on they don't know whether they should have a deal not have a deal whether theresa may is going to leave and it's all over the place the mps keep voting against what she what she puts in you know <laughs> there's chaos happening and this is, uh, and there's been actually um, things that have happened in Parliament that haven't happened for hundreds of years, you know, so historic things. So this is a historic time. Now, when you read the scriptures, you find out that Esau, Edom's ruling, and like when you go to uh, uh, world after World War Two, they set up what NATO, the EU, they called it what the Club of Rome. So this is the modern day Roman Empire, where you had like the Caesars, Julius Caesar, etc. You know, but what's going to happen to them? What's going to happen to the modern day Rome? John the Revelator got a prophecy of the beast with seven heads, ten horns, which is Esau's kingdom. But what's going to happen to them? Captivity. Okay. And this society is going to be destroyed by global chaos, financial degradation, debt, you know, um, famines, race riots, plagues, all types of manifold ten test, uh, des destruction prophesied of in the scriptures. The same way Rome fell is the same way this society is fallen. The armies are spread thin, too much debt, you know, all types of different things. This is signs of the end, you know. And that's what we, um, now, we're just watching this Brexit, we're watching Trump, we're watching Venezuela, you know, we're watching all these things, that's what our job is as prophets, because when you read the scriptures, the society you live in today is nothing but Babylon, the modern Babylon, that John the Revelator said will be nuked by fire, in Revelations 18, all you got to do is read that, because, uh, um, you know, um, you know, that's we're in the days of prophecy. So all you people that don't have faith and you don't believe in the, the Lord and all that, you're all shy. Bro, if you're in for one, bro, if you're done, right? Because you're going to see, it's like as in the days of Noah. And you see how they're pushing this um, transgenders and neutral ne neutrality, gender neutrality amongst children. They're like five years old, four years old. So, you know, this is the end, <laughs> you know. 
So we're gonna we're gonna keep watching this news, keep doing videos, and then with that, I'm gonna say shalom. This is it.